In today's lectionary reading of Matthew 12, 45 Jesus tells us a parable of an unclean spirit that leaves a person and then returns with seven other spirits more evil than itself. The person's condition becomes worse than before because the house was empty, swept, and put in order. This implies that the person did not fill his or her heart and mind with good things after being cleansed from the unclean spirit. This parable teaches us the importance of filling our heart and mind with good things after we repent from our sins and receive God's forgiveness. We cannot just leave our heart and mind empty and clean because that would make us vulnerable to worse attacks of the enemy. We need to fill our heart and mind with the things of God, such as His Word, His presence, His love, His grace, His peace, His joy, His righteousness, His holiness, and His power. These are the good things that will protect us from the evil influences of the world the flesh, and the devil. There are many ways to fill your heart and mind with good things. Here are some suggestions. 1. Associate with positive people. Surround yourself with people who inspire, encourage, and uplift you. Spend time with people who share your values, interests, and goals. Avoid people who are negative, critical, or toxic. 2. Think positive thoughts. Focus on the good things in your life, such as your blessings, achievements, and strengths. Avoid dwelling on the negative things, such as your failures, weaknesses, and fears. Train your mind to see the good in every situation. 3. Do things that make you happy. Engage in activities that bring you joy, pleasure, and fulfillment. Pursue your hobbies, interests, and passions. Take care of your physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. 4. Keep a gratitude journal. Write down the things you are thankful for every day. Reflect on the blessings in your life, such as your health, family, friends, home, job, and faith. Express your gratitude to God and others. It's a discipline that's very with it. 5. Volunteer to help others. Serve others who are less fortunate than you. Share your time, talents, and resources with those in need. Make a positive impact in your community and the world. 6. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. Empathize with others who are going through difficult times. Listen to their stories, feelings, and needs. Offer them your support, encouragement, and prayers. 7. Spend time with loved ones. Connect with your family, friends, and loved ones. Share your life, dreams, and struggles with them. Build meaningful relationships that last a lifetime. 8. Make gratitude part of your routine. Incorporate gratitude into your daily life. Start and end your day with a prayer of thanksgiving. Say grace before meals. List your blessings for the day before you go to sleep. 9. Set your mind on things above. Focus on the things that are eternal, such as God's love, grace, and salvation. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things of provision will be added to you. 10. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Read, study, and meditate on the Bible. Read, reflect on and memorize the verses that speak to your heart. Create a text note in your phone to record these verses. Apply the principles of God's Word to your life. Let the Holy Spirit guide you into all truth. Remember, filling your heart and mind with good things is a lifelong process. It requires a little discipline, commitment, and faith. But the rewards are immeasurable. You will experience peace, joy, hope, and love that surpasses all understanding. May you be blessed as you fill your heart and mind with good things. Try this today. Mindfully choose better thoughts and choose better feelings.